Welcome back to another episode. It's a little snowy outside today, but we're gonna take this thing for a ripper. Time for the dyno. Sorry we're both exhausted. We were plowing last night, but you know, we're antsy. Let's go. So we're on our way to the dyno. And if you guys haven't seen the uh, our last dyno attempt, we, uh, after wiring in the whole mega squirt, we took it there and he got it running, idling properly. And we got it on the dyno and we tried to do a pull or two and it turns out with the factory crank position sensor, we tried replacing it. We couldn't get a clean crank signal. So we ended up getting a custom um, harmonic balancer and a uh, Hall effect sensor. And that's what we're gonna be using for our crank signal now. Jeff and I have tested it a little bit and it seems to be a clean, constant signal. So we're on our way back to the dyno. Hopefully we're gonna make some power today. So stay tuned.
successfully made it back from the dino. Our journeys through New York City, always a pleasure. And uh, Jeep's still in one piece. So that's always a good sign. At least the engine's still in one piece. So we got there. It went a lot better than the first time. Uh, the first time we just kept on chasing our tail with the crank sensor. First pull, you really just check to see if everything was working right, everything was communicating correct, screwed around with the fuel table, the timing table, and then gave it its baseline. We were pretty impressed. And from there, it was a couple clicks of the boost control to try to get a little more horsepower. Then when we hit around 11, 12 um, pounds of boost, he wasn't comfortable going higher, which I can understand with the stock pistons. So he played a lot with the timing table and the fuel table to try to get it up to 300. We got really, really close, 295. But it was pretty awesome. Before we uh, went to the dyno, we got a new steering wheel here. It's a uh, Forever Sharp. And this is a NRG Gen 3 quick disconnect. So we threw that on quick. It makes it much easier when you're sitting here with your laptop. It's uh, much more comfortable. Absolutely. So another little added bonus that we got to do at the dyno I was hoping for is I put in this little button here. It's for two-step. You know, some people call it anti-lag. It's really not anti-lag, but two-step. So... When we were all said and done and we made the power, we asked if we could, uh, if he could hook up the two-step and... He asked a couple questions and we decided just to go with the simpler route of just cutting the ignition. And because, you know, we're not really gonna launch this thing. We just wanted to blow a little flames. Now that this Jeep finally has a good, well-managed uh, well engine, it's time to build the rest of it because as you can see, we kind of slapped it together the first time just for fun, kind of learning how to do everything. And uh, now it's time to set it up properly. We're gonna move this axle forward a little bit. These hoops are gonna come out. And we're gonna add a lot of pipe, tube. So guys, maybe you'll see it on the streets. Maybe you'll see it on the trail soon. Who knows? All we know is it's going to have a lot of bent pipe. Tune in next time. Maybe you'll see this thing move.